Hi, uh, I'm James, and I'm here with Karen. Hi. And she's the MU guru, and uh, we called her in over here at APIA because we were having problems. Uh, when we were looking at our reports, we were noticing, you know, the inconsistency and lack of continuity for the problem lists, the adverse reactions, and medication and medication reconciliation. So we wanted to really figure out in EHR what makes those things happen, make a quick little video for the, you know, the people out in the field and get it out there. So this video will actually be good for uh, both CACs and providers out in the field uh, trying to make meaningful use. Um, one of the first things that we stumbled upon was the allergies. We didn't know, um, we want to make sure that we were doing this correctly. So a lot of times people would either add an allergy or not add an allergy, but they would just glance at it. So what we had to do is basically say we're gonna, we want to update this. So you can do that in two places. You can go up here uh, to adverse reactions and kind of hit it. And if there's no active allergies, you can click it here. Or you can just double click that and it'll turn it green uh, if we're going to add it. So if there's something already there. Or you can right click down here and go new adverse reaction. Um, and then what we can do here is say no known allergies and click that here. Okay. So do you see how that turned that green? So unless you're adding something and there's nothing already there, we can select that. Um, so that would be somebody like me. I don't have any allergies that I know of yet. So somebody would come, the provider would then perform this task that way. So that's, that's the two ways to do the adverse reactions. Now as you're moving along into the problem list, we have to kind of annotate the same way. Uh, we can click it here saying that we reviewed it, but what if the patient has no active problems? This is like Superman's coming in to see you. He has no uh, active problems, what, what, maybe except for kryptonite, but we don't have a code for that yet. Uh, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can go in here and add an active problem if they have one, but if they don't have one, notice how there's no little box down here that says no active problems. You actually have to select it from up here, no active problems. There you go. Finally, this is the harder one. Uh, we, had, we were utilizing a CPT code for a medication reconciliation, but what was happening was it wasn't really counting for one of our providers. And she mentioned, hey, I'm doing this code over and over again. What's the deal? Well, we realized it actually has to be attached to an education. So we looked at that association, and it wasn't attached. So I'm going to show the three different ways that we can do this. First way, the old school way, is we can go into education, we can add, and we can look at the category list. And this is probably the most strenuous one to do on a provider. And then you go scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling up now, <laughs> passing it up, uh, go to medications, and then in here you can say medication, reconciliation, select and then you would put it in right here. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I'm going to show you the other way to do that. We can go ahead and add and what you can do is create a pick list right here if you're a CAC. Create that pick list, put it in over here, and then what you do is you gonna go first you add, add it in here and then you basically have it now selectable over here in that pick list. So a provider can quickly come in and put, you know, three minutes, etc. But here's the best way to do it, and that's done from the super bill. What we did is we went into the super bill, we created a mech rec button, which is attached to a CPT code, and we absolutely what we did here was we attached an association which automatically puts in the education and literature. So as you come in here, I can kind of show you how this looks for all the CACs out there. We'll come into our pick lists. Here is the CPT code to use 111F, but when we go and create it, we make sure that we attach these here. We add associations, and one of the things we add is a medicate medic medication reconciliation and we make sure it defaults to auto add. So whenever someone selects that code, now I'll go into that again and show you how that kind of looks. They select that code, it goes right here and it actually will stuff the education over into the wellness tab. So basically that's it. Those are the three ways that we do it. 
Uh, the mistake that people were making was as they were coming up here clicking this, saying that they reviewed it and they thought that they were all good. In reality, they actually had to have that education to go along and tie it all together. So right there we have problemless adverse reactions to medications for your meaningful use. And uh, hopefully this helps uh, both CACs and end users. Thank you. Great. Thanks, James. That's very helpful.